what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video today's video is going to be pretty exciting because we are once again swapping out the exhaust on my car i say once again because i've already have um uploads on the channel about the exhaust uh first one about the corsa extreme catback and then my second one was on the corsa catalyst headers uh, those seem to be pretty popular so i'm bringing back another one and today we're actually going to be swapping out my double X pipe from Corsa, the one that came with the Corsa catback. And we're gonna be swapping that to a double H pipe from Corsa. Um, it's like a partnership with Lethal they did. So I'm very excited to see how it's gonna sound. I'm swapping it with my uh, with a friend of mine. Um, coincidentally, he wanted to swap. He has a double H and he wanted to swap over to a double X. And just about the same time when I was gonna go buy it, we messaged each other and we're actually gonna meet at the exhaust shop uh, to do the swap, um, so it's starting raining. But before that, I wanted to get some exhaust clips for you guys to kind of show you a before. So basically my setup now is Corsa Catalyst headers and uh, paired with the Corsa Extreme with the double X. So I definitely wanted to record some pulls, uh, revs, and you know, just to show you guys a good before and I'll kind of repeat the same videos after once the double H is installed. So yeah, I'm excited to see the difference. I'm not sure how well it will be picked up on camera, but I'll definitely let you guys know uh, how it sounds in person and give you guys my thoughts. And you know, hopefully I like the switch, but if not, I mean, swapping back, finding somebody else that would want to swap again, probably won't be that hard. Um, so yeah.
right guys, so it's the next morning. Obviously you guys already heard the exhaust a little bit uh, from the exhaust shop, the guys were just revving it out. Uh, right off the bat, I can already tell that it's a little bit deeper tone, lower end, and less rasp on um, on the higher end. So that was a really good sign, but not that big of a difference. Uh, when I was driving it for a bit, uh, getting on it didn't sound too, too different, but definitely cruising. It was a little bit quieter on the, like, you know, when, when you're cruising, it was a little bit, I did hear the exhaust a little bit less. Um, and the coast starts, I just heard it, definitely a little bit deeper, less raspy. So that's, I'm really happy with that, but it wasn't that big of a difference. Obviously there's only so much, you know, from an X to an H is gonna change, but it's mostly just the mufflers in the back, just the extreme mufflers that'll change the tone of the car. Um, but as you can tell from the clips, the what they had to do, I guess from the previous exhaust shop my friend went to, when they were doing the headers, I guess they had to cut the H pipe a bit for it to line up. Um, so what they did with mine is that they added extra, extra piping and welded it onto the H pipe and then clamped it onto the connection pipes from the headers. And then obviously the rear uh, part of the H pipe, and the ones that connect to the axle back, that lined up perfectly. It was obviously a perfect fit. They just had to clamp it back on. Uh, but the front did have to have a little bit extra work with the welding of the extra piping. But everything looked really clean. Uh, obviously I showed a good amount of it, but I wasn't talking just because it was so loud. There was a lot of things going going on in the background. So I wasn't able to explain it on you know on the spot. But I think everything came out nice. The alignment, they, they took care of me, 954 mufflers definitely go to them um, the the owner took care of me he he made sure uh, the alignment came out perfect even when I was like no no it looks fine he was like he took the extra steps like he's like no man it's got to be perfect you know and they really took care of me I was really happy leaving there um, but yeah I'm gonna uh, record the extra clips for you guys so just we have a good comparison of of both both setups I don't know how big of a difference it'll catch on camera, but in person, it does It does sound a little bit better. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the swap. Um, but yeah, I guess you guys can be the judge of it.
all right guys yeah that wraps it up for today's video i got a lot of clips of both setups and hopefully now you guys have a good comparison of each one me personally so far i'm really liking the sound of the double h just because it sounds very similar in the good ways and then just a little bit better in other ways just from the the deeper tone and a little bit less raspy it's exactly what i was looking for obviously i would need to drive it a little bit more just to keep you know like seeing comparing both but so far i'm very happy and hopefully this video can kind of give you guys a better idea on which one to get if you guys are deciding between either one but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be catching you guys in the next one